Hey there Gundam fans, this is Patrick1969 and if you've seen any of my reviews on any of the other uh, Gundam Seed, Gundam Seed Destiny, MSIA then you'll know that I always mention that I'm not a huge fan of the series and while that is true um, I can't deny how some of the MSIA figures for the line or for the series um, are actually really interesting actually really cool and so from the recent line I got quite a while ago actually not recent um, I got so many Gundam Seed figures and this was one of them I decided to keep it and this is the deactivated version of the Impulse Gundam from Gundam Seed Destiny so there he is <laughs> so I'll be showing you what he comes with um, some of his little features and uh, telling you how you can find him so let's start off with his weapon or weapons. I'll show you the others in a minute. He has this uh, the standard beam rifle. Unfortunately the handle, the stabilizing handle, or the aiming handle doesn't move or anything like that so this is just one solid piece of plastic. The only thing moving is the scope. And it can actually fit into the back of the mobile suit right here. Like so. Okay. Alright. He comes with his um, many different hands, including the trigger fingers that he has on right now, his uh, beam saber holding hands, and of course his, where's the other one, his closed fists right there. He also comes with this shield, which can extend out. Let me see if I can, there we go. Oops, there you go. So it's supposed to be the extended out version or form and there's a handle you can also attach the arm this guy also comes with his own set of blades just like the strike did let me see if I can get one out for you oh I broke it off that's okay and these are kind of a better mold better design than the strike had let me see if I can pop one of these. There we go. As you can see, the blade's a lot thinner. It looks like it has a better handle and everything. It just looks a lot sharper. So, there's two of them on each hip. And then last, we have this little core fighter system thing going on in the back. Where it actually comes out. And folds out into a little fighter jet. Which I thought was really, really cool. See? And then when it's time for him to dock into the Gundam, he just fits right in. So as you can tell, this is the um, deactivated version of the Impulse. And it only came with the um, deactivated version of the Savior. And honestly, while it does cost a pretty penny to buy the figures, it's not anything that any that no one can't really afford. Um, the figures usually go for anywhere from twenty-five to thirty dollars, I believe. Um, the only thing you have to watch out for is, of course, the international shipping charges that people try and gouge a little bit on. But uh, other than that, this is a really nice figure. I, I was quite surprised when I saw it and liked it. I don't know what it is about the deactivated version of these figures, but they're really cool. I seem to I seem to really like them and gravitate toward them. So, um, in terms of articulation, you can obviously tell it's one of those um, second, third, whatever you want to call them, generation MSI figures where um, you know they have double joints on everything. This guy is really fluid. He has a lot of motion. A lot of has a ball joint. Uh, torso, shoulders, arms, hands, feet, knees. Even in the knees, there's a little, there's a ball joint. He can turn. So it's a really nice figure to get, and it's a really nice thing to, uh, or um, MSIA to add to your collection. So that's my short little review. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, stay tuned for more, and uh, keep watching for an update on. Uh, figures I'll be selling very, very soon. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.